tonight, North Staffordshire Fox and Supremo, Nathan Whitehead, tries a new way of taking his quarry with night vision. The fox is a scourge of the countryside and one of nature's most troublesome pests. A fox can destroy a coop of full chickens in a matter of minutes and leave a farm without a valuable source of income. A fox can destroy infrastructure by digging holes, destroying fences and tearing apart rubbish bins and bags. Foxes also carry disease and as they move they spread it across the countryside infecting native wildlife and domestic animals. Hydatid, distemper, longworm, Parvovirus, canine hepatitis, heartworm and seroptic mange are all carried by foxes. The control of fox numbers in the countryside is a vital part of agricultural management and a lot of farms employ a shoot on site policy. Some farmers allow the local hunters and shooters to patrol the land and help control the fox numbers in order to protect the farm and their livelihoods. Tonight, we're on a farm in North Staffordshire with Nathan Whitehead as he embarks on his usual rounds of the local farm. However, before he can undertake his duties, he needs to get across the tricky farm fields. We've come out tonight with another fox as is causing itself to be a bit of a pain. We're going to try and do as best with him. We've, we've been baiting him out now for a few nights and hopefully he's going to come in and we can sort him out. Been baiting up with a few dog biscuits and a couple of pheasant carcasses that were left over from last weekend's beating, so have a bit of luck, we can sort him out. We're just heading down through these fields here, they're, they're slightly boggy. We've had a rain for the last few hours this afternoon, so I've been coming across. This is uh, it's handling it nicely. Pull up here now and then we can walk the rest of the way just to uh, hopefully Mr. Fox will be sat waiting for us when we get there. Got the new uh, fancy kit and the huntsman. We've brought the, brought the 22 250 out tonight for these foxes. Shooting um, ballistic tips again. Um, 50 grain uh, to Hauer 22-250 with 4 to 16 by 50 hawk scope on it. It's uh, what I use for shooting all my foxes. Does the trick nicely. Nathan attaches the night sight NS200 to his rifle. And he's ready to go. He's also got the night sight spotter for spotting foxes in the darkness without the use of a lamp and giving his location away. Nathan gets into the field and checks on his bait. It's literally minutes before a fox comes running at the field but he isn't staying still for long. As the fox darts about, Nathan is trying to get a scope and night vision set up in order to find a shot. But it's too late. The fox hasn't hung around and Nathan has been caught off guard. It all comes down to preparation, I'm afraid, and Nathan has missed this chance. 
hare runs across Nathan's line of sight and a few yards away. It's not noticed Nathan lying in the darkness using his night vision set up. Then he spots something isn't quite right and makes a run for it. A little disappointed. Nathan gets himself prepped and set up for the next fox. He gets his sight picture clear and ready and then gives out a few calls. He scans the field for any signs of eyes, but it's all quiet. And with a bright moon in the sky, there's plenty of ambient light. This means the fox has a better chance of spotting Nathan than usual. And with one chance gone begging, it could now be a long night. Nathan decides to take a walk and heads down the opposite field with a spotter. He scans the hedgerows, fields, fences and darkness, looking for eyes. There's a few rabbits here and there, but no fox. He covers the entire perimeter of the farm without spotting another fox, and he's surely ruining his missed opportunity. With a few miles of walking under his belt, Nathan heads back to his bait spot and decides to wait a little while longer. He waits only minutes once again before a fox enters the field and comes running down the hedgerow. Nathan watches him on the spotter. Then he moves into a shooting position and readies the rifle. As soon as the fox slows down, Nathan has him in his sights. He fires. A good thud and the fox drops on the spot. Nathan is pretty happy after the missed opportunity at the beginning of the night. Right, they come from the car at about half past eight, come through the gate, sat down, baited areas, 120 yards just down the field there. The fox come through the back hedge to it, I couldn't get a shot at it. We just walked the whole farm, come back again, it's now half past ten and a fox has just come out of the far corner of the field straight the way across onto the baited area. Stop perfect for the shot. He moves in for closer inspection and this vixen is definitely down. Well it's, uh, it's always good to take a vixen because that, that gives you another possibility of that six come this spring and you know, six more cubs local pheasant shoots chickens on the farm it's, it's six gone that uh, could have been playing some more havoc next year it's a nice good condition fox well good place shot just dropped it on the spot With it all stripped down, Nathan packs away his rifle and the night sight kit, ready to head for home. The farmer will be happy that a good healthy vixen has been taken out and the possibility of her delivering a litter of cubs the next spring is also avoided. This farm will be fox free for at least one night. <laughs>